You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Yeah, we will be talking about that in a bit. Oh, okay. Foreshadowing. Yes, good, good. Um, so another couple of examples. Um, there's a drug called Pazopanit um, that was uh, created a while ago for uh, uh, kidney cancers, is approved for kidney cancers. Um, and uh, they found that uh, it also worked in um, some other types of cancers. Um, one of them is called a solitary fibrous tumor. Um, it's uh, somewhat, it, it's a basically a fibrous uh, sarcoma, doesn't have a real lot of treatment options for it beyond surgery. And they found that um, uh, pazopanib, this drug, was actually quite, quite effective in these patients. So partial responses were achieved by 58% of patients. 39% had stable disease in this trial. And the overall, um, the average survival, which is the median, um, when 50% of the patients um, uh, pass in a trial, um, they mark the time point, and that's called the medium overall survival. And there's still 50% of the patients that live beyond that. So uh, that was actually 49.8 months um, and had a two-year survival rate of 57% which is really very good for this type of cancer because there's literally no other treatments for it. And so um, the reason uh, these patients responded is uh, a certain pro proportion of them had overexpression of a gene called FGFR, fibro fibroblast growth factor receptor one. Uh, it was overexpressed or mutated in um, these particular uh, patients that had the response. And uh, this drug, Pazopanib, targets any cell that happens to have overexpression of FGFR. So uh, there's a classic example of a drug that was designed for, for renal carcinomas and is being used in many different sarcomas. Uh, so another example um, of Pazopanib's uh, off-label usage, um, it, it's, it's recently been found too that um, uh, Pazopanib is effective with uh, chondrosarcomas. And those are um, uh, sarcomas of the ligaments. So uh, in a recent study of uh, extraskeletal mixoid chondrosarcomas, 73% uh, uh, of patients achieved stable disease. Um, and the progression-free survival, which is um, the, the time period that it takes for the disease to return, had not been reached in that trial, which is very good. And 55% of patients had tumor shrinkage too. Um, so there was a unique type of um, fusion gene um, in that particular cancer uh, that seemed to be the target of pazopanib, uh, and it was called the EWS-R1, and it was combined with another gene called the, R, the NR4A3. So this is a fusion gene where the control of one gene has been combined with the, um, the uh, components or the, uh, the, the main gene body of another gene. So in this particular study, they found that only the patients that had this fusion uh, responded to pazopanib. And so once again, uh, uh, RNA-seq is really important. So you can determine whether you have this fusion gene or not, or overexpression of either one of these two genes. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.